Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and I'm going to show you three ways how to apply mask. So this is the first one. I'm going to use this uh, background texture for it. I just created it and I'm going to select a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to add a color. Let's say some yellow. And also make sure that uh, the stroke, you don't have anything on the stroke. So click on none. That way you won't have anything there. Again, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on your texture. You can also find, of course, this texture. Uh, I'm gonna link it down in the description so you can find it. And yeah, right click on the rectangle and arrange, wait a sec, send to back. So this is one of the basic ones. I'm gonna do a copy of this, send it to back. I'm gonna create a new copy on the copy. So, I mean, a new copy based in front, basically. So I'm gonna press Control C and where is the edit, paste in front. So I'm gonna right click, arrange, bring to front. So we got like three layers going on. I'm gonna select all three elements and go here where's the transparency if you don't have the transparency go to windows and select the transparency it's located right here and make mask okay so this is how you this is the traditional way how to apply a mask i can double click on it and also i can move the effect inside of the mask basically you can distort it you also can you know change the background color this is the background color i'm going to change it to something else let's see this you get the main idea I gotta I gotta change it back back because that looked pretty good okay so there's like another one going on this is a more simple version so I'm gonna create a new rectangle I'm gonna select both right click and make a clipping mask so as you can see the background color also disappeared because we used only two ring i mean we used here only one rectangle and in the previous one we used two of those but we also can add here a color to the background so i'm gonna double click as you can see we have of course uh the texture going on with which we can uh, manipulate and pull it and whatsoever and i can select here the background and i'm gonna apply the color so we're back. Wow, check this out. It burns my eyes, but uh, it looks pretty good. So this is the second way how you can do it. This is the first, the second, and I'm going to show you the third trick. So this is done by text. And I'm going to press the letter T. Or you can go to select the type tool, click. I'm going to type my name. So here we have the font. I'm gonna put the font right on top. Uh, this time I don't expand it. I'm gonna select both, right click, make clipping mask. So as you can see, the font is still editable. So I'm gonna double click. I can edit the whatsoever, the texture. And I'm gonna double click again. And I'm gonna edit the text. See that? As you can see, uh, the texture ends right here. I'm going to scale this down. So yeah, there's like a lot of funky methods how to do these things. And this is one of those. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new at the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.